Have you ever wondered how our ancestors were able to create such incredible feats of engineering and technology that modern scientists still struggle to understand? From massive stone structures to complex machines, ancient civilizations left behind mysteries that continue to baffle us to this day. In this video, we'll explore the 12 most mysterious ancient technologies that scientists still can't explain, uncovering the secrets behind these incredible feats of innovation and ingenuity. Join us as we journey back in time to uncover the secrets of our ancient past. Let's quickly dive into the first odometer that left scientists spellbound. The first odometer was an ancient device used by the ancient Greeks and Romans to measure the distance travelled by a vehicle. It was invented by Archimedes in the 3rd century BC and was further improved by the Roman engineer Vitruvius in the 1st BC. The device consisted of a series of gears and wheels, with each revolution of the wheel representing a certain distance travelled. The odometer was an important invention for ancient civilizations, allowing them to accurately measure distances and plan their journeys accordingly. Have you ever heard of ancient crystal rock lenses that were used by our ancestors to create intricate and precise objects with amazing detail and accuracy? Ancient crystal rock lenses were mysterious objects used by civilizations such as the Greeks and the Romans for various purposes. These included magnification, focusing light, and starting fires. These lenses were made from naturally occurring crystals such as quartz or beryl, which were carefully polished to create a smooth surface. The exact techniques used to create these lenses remain a mystery, but their optical properties allowed ancient scientists to make more important observations about our natural world. Have you ever heard of plasticine rocks that were used by ancient civilizations to create some of their most impressive and architectural wonders? Plasticine rocks, also known as thixotropic materials, are materials with the unique property of behaving like both solids and liquids depending on the force applied to them. This makes them ideal for construction and engineering, as they can be molded and shaped into complex structures with ease. Ancient civilizations, such as the Inca and the Moche, used plasticine rocks to construct their impressive architectural wonders. They used a variety of natural materials and specialized techniques to create these materials, but the exact methods remain somewhat a mystery. Have you ever heard of liquid bridges, an ancient technology that allowed our ancestors to transport water over great distances without the need for pipes or aqueducts? Liquid bridges are the ancient engineering marvels made entirely of water, used by civilizations such as the Incas and the Nazca to transport water across great distances without the need for pipes or aqueducts. These structures were created by carefully pouring water across a gap or valley, allowing the water to form a stable, cohesive arch. The sides of the liquid bridge were reinforced with a layer of clay or stone, creating a channel for the water to flow through. This allowed ancient civilizations to irrigate their crops and support their growing populations, despite living in an arid or mountainous regions where traditional irrigation methods were not feasible. Before we continue with our exploration of the 12 most mysterious ancient technologies, I want to challenge you to think about what other incredible technologies and invention may have been lost to time. What other engineering feats and scientific advancements may have been created by our ancestors that we still don't fully understand? Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Ancient History for more and new discoveries and insights about history. Have you ever heard about the Philosopher's Stone? The Philosopher's Stone is the legendary substance that is said to have magical properties, including the ability to transmute base metals into gold or silver, and to grant eternal youth and life. It was a central concept in alchemy, an ancient practice that sought to transform matter and achieve spiritual enlightenment. The Philosopher's Stone was also believed to hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe and achieving enlightenment. Have you ever heard of an ancient well in Italy called the Pozzo di San Patrizio, or St. Patrick's Well? There are many ancient wells in Italy, but one of the most famous is Pozzo di San Patrizio, or St. Patrick's Well, in Orvieto. The well was built in the 16th century by architect engineer Antonio da San Gallo the Younger, who was commissioned by Pope Clement VII during the construction of the nearby Orvieto Cathedral. The well is a unique double helix design with two spiral staircases that wind around a central shaft allowing people and donkeys to pass each other without obstruction. 
The well is over 50 meters deep and features 248 steps. It was designed to provide a reliable water source in times of siege or drought. Have you heard of Han Purple? It's a mysterious pigment that was first discovered in ancient Chinese artifacts dating back to the Han Dynasty, around 220 BCE. Han Purple was a complex mix of barium copper silicates, and it was used to create some of the most beautiful and enduring objects of the time, including pottery, murals, and even the famous terracotta warriors. What makes Han Purple so intriguing is that it was not rediscovered until the 1990s, and scientists are still not sure about how the ancient Chinese artisans were able to produce such a complex and stable pigment thousands of years ago. Have you ever wondered how ancient people were able to make high-quality steel without modern technology? One of the most remarkable examples of this is crucible steel, which was produced in South Asia and the Middle East as early as the first millennium BCE. Crucible steel was known for its exceptional strength, flexibility, and sharpness, and it was used to create some of the most iconic weapons and tools of the time. This included the Damascus Sword. The process of making crucible steel was a closely guarded secret, and it involved heating a mixture of iron and other materials in a sealed clay container, allowing for precise control of the chemical composition. The art of making crucible steel was lost for many centuries, but was eventually rediscovered in the 19th century. Have you ever wondered when the first metal pans were invented? Archaeological evidence suggests that people in the Middle East were using metal cookware as early as the 3rd millennium BCE. The oldest known example is a bronze pan discovered in the city of Shadai Sokhta in Iran dating back to around 2000 BCE. Have you ever heard of the ancient cooling technique used in Egypt and Persia? It's called the wind catcher or bajir in Persian. The wind catcher is a traditional architectural element that uses natural ventilation to cool buildings in hot and dry climates. It typically consists of a tall tower with openings at the top, which catch the breeze and channel it down to the building below. As the air flows down, it creates a cooling effect that can lower the temperature by several degrees. Wind catchers were widely used in ancient times and can still be found in many traditional buildings throughout the Middle East and Central Asia today. Have you ever heard of the ancient Lycurgus Cup? This remarkable artifact is a Roman glass cup that dates back to the 4th century CE. What makes it so special is that it changes color depending on the direction and intensity of the light. Have you ever heard of the Maiden Tower, an ancient structure located in Baku, Azerbaijan? This enigmatic tower dates back to at least the 7th century CE, and has since been subject of much speculation and mystery over the years. The tower stands over 29 meters tall and is made from stone and brick, with 8 floors connected by a spiral staircase. So, what do you think about the 12 ancient technologies that continue to baffle scientists and historians? Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to our channel, Ancient History. We'll help you keep up to date on more fascinating insights into the mysteries of our world. Who knows, maybe you'll even help us uncover some of the answers to these age-old questions. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching.